The only difference for weekend and weekdays um, for SI healthy cooking class that we have, um, every weekdays or week, uh, either Thursday or Wednesday, it's by YouTube or by Facebook like this. But every weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, we're going to do it as um, uh, by Zoom, okay? Um, what's the difference? Well, it's more dishes by Zoom on Saturdays or Sunday, and also more technical things. I give more um, ideas, I give more some tips, uh, especially for those who have salad master already. So it, you, you can get more when you do a registration through Eventbrite, free access by Zoom every Saturday or weekend, okay? Now, why we are doing this? Because um, we inspire people to, to uh, utilize cooking, to eat better, live better, and achieve the life that they desire. And actually, we are leading the movement back to healthy home cooking, especially nowadays that is a lockdown. So we would like to enjoy the meal, the home cooked meal in the house. But what I'm going to show you is easy, quick, delicious food that is homemade. Okay, so everyone would like to eat delicious, easy, quick, uh, delicious food, homemade food, right? So I'm here to help you especially if you haven't used your salad master or you are running out of, you know, of ideas, let us just enjoy our 4SI Healthy Home Cooking class, okay? And for those who have attended our uh, 4SI Healthy Home Cooking class last Saturday, we had a very amazing experience last Saturday. It's just amazing um, dishes that we have. It's Korean dishes, seven uh, Korean dishes, and it's just amazing, okay? Now, um, what I'm going to show you today is a very simple uh, dish. Uh, it could be vegetarian if you still, flexitarian if you still eat fish. We just thought that, you know, we just been to a lot of um, dishes from the holidays, a lot of meat and everything like that. So we thought of giving you a very nice dish today that is just light, simple, delicious, and healthy food, okay? Let me see who are online with me today. Let me see. If you could just say hello in the comment section, that would be great. And the second thing that I would like to request from you is to share in your timeline because um, not everyone is my friends, definitely. So my friend may be not, my, your friend is not my friends, not all of them. So if you could share in your timeline, those people or your friends will also benefit from this healthy home cooking class by 4SI Health. And in that way, um, our tagline is we're making a difference in people's lives, one meal at a time. So in that way, when you share, you made a difference for them already. Because who knows, there's so many people there out there who are looking for some fresh or uh, some ideas in cooking, right? So if you could just say hello everyone, or hello, that would be nice, okay? Hi, Ate Angelita, thank you so much for watching. Hi, Dave, thank you for sharing, okay? Uh, so many people already shared, thank you so much. And hi, Debra, thank you so much for watching again. Um, by the way, those who attended the, the uh, cooking show last Saturday for the Korean dishes, we will send all the recipes uh, this week, within this week. We will definitely send that to you in just one email. Okay, so Debra is here, Naylon is here. Okay, Angelica Enrico Castillo, hello po. Hi, Gatti Gomez, please share. Okay, so, uh, so other people will also benefit from today. Okay, and also if you like to know, or if you also like the, the dishes to be sent directly to your inbox straight away, um, it's already in my notes, so I can just forward it to you straight away. Now this dish, the cilantro, quick, easy, Easy, delicious um, cilantro, uh, fresh lime fish tacos is just very, um, a very special to me because I thought that it's just very light and very easy to, to cook. Okay, so to start with, our ingredients for the fillings, so we have fillings, we have guacamole, and we have the salsa. Yes, you have, you, you have heard it right. We're going to make the homemade guacamole, 
uh, the healthier version. And also, we're going to have the very quick and easy uh, salsa. Okay? Now, uh, I got this from one of the chefs, Mexican chefs. All these recipes or the old ingredients that I got is from the Mexican chefs. So I did all my research, and this is the easiest thing to do and all the uh, um, authentic uh, dish, um, ingredients as well. Now, like I always say, I'm not going to teach you really to cook, but I'm just going to show you the quick, easy, delicious, and nutritious uh, dish that we can do, okay? Well, of course, for the, that the, our family can enjoy. Okay, for the ingredients that we're going to use, we're going to use, uh, for the filling, we're going to have the um, on, uh, garlic here, Okay, the garlic, we're going to mince this with the cone number one. We have our onions. For, the, for this dish, we prefer red, okay, because of the natural sweetness of the red onions. We have some lime here and also some, uh, what is this? Cilantro. <laughs> Obviously, our dish is cilantro, so we're going to have this. And for the fish, now you have the option what kind of fish you like. So this is cod. This is the one that is available in the market. So in the shop that I just been to this morning. So I have cod fillet here. But you can also use sea bass. And you can also use some, any seafoods like prawns. So it, it, this is very versatile, okay? For those people who are avoiding to eat some meat at the minute, okay? And then we have some pinch of salt, pepper, then we have cumin, we have paprika here, and this is a um, tiny bit of pepper. Now you can add more pepper, cayenne pepper, if you like to. It's just that I just had some pinch because my children don't like really want chili foods. Okay, and then also, this is completely um, optional. Okay, it's not in the original one, but I just thought this one is very nice to have to uh, have additional uh, uh, vegetables, okay? So we have the red, green, and yellow peppers. And, and we know that the bell peppers are very, 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 very uh, nutritious, all right? Now, for the guacamole, homemade guacamole, these are our ingredients. So I have two mashed um, avocado here. I have here the uh, chopped tomatoes very fine tomatoes, but I removed the seeds for this, okay? Then I have cilantro or, or, or um, coriander. Then I have some fresh lime and a little bit of salt as well. For the salsa, our ingredients are, we have some chopped tomatoes in here, pinch of salt and pepper, and we're also going to have onions that I have, I'm going to get from there. And then we're also going to have this uh, coriander. For the, for the um, uh, what do you call that? Garnishing, we have this jalapeno and um, cabbage and cilantro or coriander, okay? Now, uh, you can put some jalapeno already straight away in the fillings, but I don't, uh, I'm not going to put that because like what I said, my children don't like chili food. Now, for the, for the equipments that we're going to use, okay, we're going to have to use the, my favorite one, my, one of my favorite salad masterpiece. This is the 12-inch uh, deep dish griddle. So it's not square because it's, it's, it's circle, okay? So 12-inch deep dish griddle. So this is one of the, uh, my favorite um, piece of salad master as well. And also, this is circle. Okay, and this one is 11 inch square griddle. Okay, we're going to use this to, to uh, reheat our tacos and the uh, tortilla. We also have our beautiful food processor and it has scones in there. Okay, so who else are here? Thank you so much for those who shared. Okay, Naylon, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, Debra, please share if you like. Uh, Ate Angelita, Kathy, hi Ate Floyd for the Disa, hello. Hi Richard, hello, shout out to you. Ate Floyd, shout out to you as well. Uh, yes, Deborah, we will post the recipe, we will. Okay, okay, so I, I already preheated our 12-inch deep dish griddle. 
And to check if it is preheated already, just put a little bit of water there. And if you can see, it's nicely, um, there's um, bubbling water, okay? You can, all, you can already start your cooking, okay? Now, to start, I'm going to uh, chop our onions. And this salad master machine is very, 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 very useful in our kitchen. It's just half of your kitchen because you can you dice, grate, slice, chop your onions, okay? Normally, if we use a slice, uh, for, for slicing the onions, we use cone number four. But if we're going to use, or if we need chop onion, we, we need cone number three. For today, I'm going to use cone number two because I'm going to use this, uh, what I want a smaller uh, chop, a finer chop of our onions. Like what I said, it's better to use red onions in this dish. So if you can achieve or if you can um, get um, red onions, it's much, much better. Now these big onions, I can divide this into three because I'm going to use this for our filling. And also I'm going to use this as well for our salsa and salsa in our guacamole. Okay. Like what I said to you, all the ingredients that I've got today, I got it from the Mexican chefs. Okay, I just am going to um, uh, adapt it to the salad master way of cooking. So just very quick one, if you could notice, very easy to use and you can earn the salad master machine, okay, by just referring us to your family and friends and you will have this, you can earn this salad master machine. So just one quick one is very easy. Okay, so I'm going to put half of these onions into our fillings, for our fillings, so half of this, like so. So remember, in Salad Master, you don't need to use uh, any single drop of oil when you are cooking, okay, because it's straight away, uh, your, your Salad Master will allow you to cook without any single drop of oil. I have uh, tissues there, please. Can you get it, please? Okay, so I have here our onions. Look at this beauty. Since I have salad master, I never use oil in sauteing or frying. Okay? Um, I did really uh, do my research or my best not to use any single drop of oil when cooking. Okay? Uh, because salad master will allow you to do that. Okay, so we're just going to brown this uh, beautiful onion. We don't need to really caramelize this because it will release too much sugar or um, sweetness. So we just want to brown that a little bit. Okay, now while we are browning the onions, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, grate or mince our garlic by using cone Number one, the salad master machine. If you don't have salad master machine yet, you can message me. If you are uh, not in the UK, we can uh, um, just message me as well. We can refer you to the nearest dealer, you. Okay, so look at this. Co number one, a uh, whole um, on, uh, garlic, because I'm going to use this for the whole two dishes. And then just remove some of the peel, just like so. Okay, and then you're going to have a very nice, beautiful onions there. Okay, and then just add to your, to your onions. Okay, and then the rest we can add to our, uh, okay, just there. Put some more. I think I'm gonna, I'm going, just going to add a little bit for our uh, salsa. Just a little bit, not too much, okay? Can you see how easy is it to use salad master machine? Before you need to mince and peel all the, I know, isn't it? All the, uh, you know, the cloves, garlic cloves. Okay, so look at this beautiful, okay? So onion and garlic. Uh, we're not focused, I think. Onion and garlic, let's just brown this. Now some people say, is, they are asking me if we can use the 
Oh, we can use without, oh, we can use just even just a little bit of oil. Now, obviously, it's your choice if you want to use a little bit of oil. It's just that what we are sharing to our customers is that any kinds of oil, when exposed to high heat, it will um, turn to trans fat, which is not a good fat, which is bad fats. Yes, we need good fats. Yes, we need fats, but it should be good fats. Okay, and there's bad fats and good fats. In Salad Master, we are um, uh, um, saying to the customer that we can avoid bad fats. Okay, so Jennifer de Guzman Cruz, thank you so much for watching with us. Okay, Ate Susie, hello. Thank you so much. Yes, happy news, Ate Susie. Hello, Irene, and I miss this. It's good that you are here today, Ate, you know. Okay? Uh, please our, like our page for SI Health, okay? For SI Health, the, our page, and then we have YouTube as well for SI Health, okay? And like what I said to you, if you if you share this to your timeline, uh, you're making a difference because other people who's not in my friends list will be will be benefit or will be benefits from this uh, cooking class as well. All right, please please do so. And just if you just um, if you just join in, please. Say hello, hello, and then I can shout out for you. Okay, so so it's nice and brown now. Okay, I'm just going to lower it down because we don't want want to uh, burn our uh, garlic and onion. Now, the only reason that you will burn your food when cooking in Salad Master is when you are like just like in any other other cooking. If you are in a high heat and then you forget it, okay. So I have here fish, fish, um, what do you call this? Fish uh, loin. Oh, actually, okay, can we show this please? This one? Oh, okay. So I have, I, I have fish loin here. While I'm browning the, the onion and garlic, just slice or cut our our fish. So like what I said, you can use either sea bream, haddock, or, or cod loin. This is cod loin, okay? So slice like that or cut like that. I'm using salad master machine, which is very useful as well. It's a very nice accessory, salad master accessories in your kitchen. Makes your life easy as well. So when I cut my cilantro and the leaves, I'm just using this uh, Salad Master uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen scissors, okay? So just slice up like that. You don't need to make it uh, all at the same size because it will uh, flake later anyway, okay? Now, um, if you are going to do this with the meat, at this stage, you add the meat there. So if this uh, beef, pork, or any meat that you like. At this stage, onion and garlic, when it's brown already, you can add, at this point, your pork and, or any kind of meat. But this one is just our uh, fish. Okay, so just like so. Easy, okay? This uh, Salad Master kitchen scissors, I have one in the office, here in the office, and we have one in the house. Okay, it's just, I love just this, okay? So I'm just going to put back into medium. Okay, so always, always start with medium heat. So just put it there, like so. And then we have a little bit of salt and pepper here. Okay, so like that. And salt, don't put everything now. Maybe we can put uh, the rest later, just like that. Now they are saying, if you don't have this 12 inch dip dish, what can you use? What salad master you, you can use? You can use anything. It's just like for this dish, I recommend the griddle, especially this 12 inch dip dish griddle pan. You can use the electric skillet or any salad master cookware, okay? You can use that. It's just that for this dish, I just noticed that uh, it, it, I, I achieve what I would like to achieve with this um, dish, okay? Oh, I can smell the freshness of the cold loin. 
Okay, just let us just cook this for a few seconds or few minutes, maybe about two to three minutes. Okay, we just we just we don't need to cook this for a long time. Okay, now this is the thing. If you have electric skillet, you can use the lid of our electric skillet to cover this to facilitate the uh, the, the quickness to cook of this uh, fish. Maybe about instead of four, it will be just two, and it will be brown straight away. Okay, so at least still I'm on medium heat. While we are doing this, okay, to maximize the time, I'm going to do the guacamole, the homemade guacamole. Okay. Who are new that uh, joined us? Who joined us? Okay. Hello, Martin. This is very good for you, Martin. You will love this dish. Hello to you. Hi, Willie. Willie Wilfredo Manuel. Thank you so much for watching. If you can share, that would be good as well. Uh, Glee, hello my dear friend Glee, my kumare, hello, hello, hello. Okay, for the homemade guacamole, I have here two big, uh, two big, um, what's this? Avocado. <laughs> two big avocado here that you just need to mask like this. Okay, so I don't want to blend it. I, I just want to press it like that with two fork because it just gives the nice texture when we eat the tacos. Obviously, when we eat, we would like, we are looking for texture, isn't it? For the smoothness or the roughness of the food that we are eating. So I have much to, uh, too much um, avocado here. And to this, we're just going to add the two tomatoes. Again, if you want to have the recipe, please just put in the comment recipe, please. Okay, and then please, if you haven't shared it yet, please share it to your timeline so that we can also help other people. Two finely chopped tomatoes. The key here for guacamole so that it will not be watery, you need to just chop the hard part, that, not the middle one or the one with the seeds. So just the hard part, okay? So just two nice and, and uh, nice size of our tomatoes. And to this, we can add our Cilantro or coriander. I think it's more on American, isn't it? The cilantro. Okay, but it's coriander. And this is the, uh, one of the Mexican restaurant in the US. This is exactly what he gave me for, for the guacamole recipe. The healthier version. Why the healthier version? Because we're not going to put mayonnaise. Some, some, some people or some a commercial company, they're putting mayonnaise or some extender, but this one is just pure guacamole, okay? So we have pinch of salt as well, just put that there. And obviously, we'd like to remove some, or we'd like to balance the flavor. So we have uh, two tablespoons of um, lime, okay? Lime juice, just like so. And then combine them all together, and then, you have a very nice homemade guacamole here. Look at this beauty. Look at that. And then you can use this if you have your, uh, what do you call that, tortilla chips. You can use that if you are in a movie night with your family, especially nowadays that is locked down. If you have um, Netflix or Disney Channel or Prime Video, and then you, have, you would like to have uh, your own version of guacamole, this is very good, okay? Now, the, the chef that I've got this, in, uh, this recipe, uh, basically this is the one, they just put in a nice bowl, nice bowl, and then they put all the tortilla chips on the side, okay? And then while the, the customers are, are, are very happy with this, and look at that beauty, okay? So we have our our guacamole here, okay? And um, for this recipe, actually, it's better if you have more, more, ano, more um, avocado. It's just that there's not enough avocado available when I went to the shop this morning. So I just have two. So supposedly in this, in this recipe, with two tomatoes, you will leave four avocados, okay? But I will send you the recipe with exact 
um, exact uh, ingredients. Okay, so who are new who join us? Ati Susi, yes, thank you. Willie, Ati Flor, yes, Ati Flor Denisa, we will send the link to you. Okay, this one is okay now. I'll look at this pot. Just two minutes, two to three minutes. You, you, this is the brown color that we would like to achieve. And what you can see here, the natural oil of our face, the cold loin, has just released. So it's, if you will add, if you will add more oil, we will place the artificial oil. We're in, in here, just the natural oil that, that we would like to achieve. Okay? So if there's any big piece, just... Uh, press it so that it will be nice and flaky, okay? So at this point, this is now ready for us to put all other ingredients. To that, I'm going to put all our uh, bell peppers. Like what I said, this is my personal preference, especially when I'm cooking um, or with the tacos, I'm using fish. Because I believe that if we add some more like this, the bell peppers, different kinds of colors, it gives more flavor and it gives more um, vitamins and minerals, okay? So we have the cayenne pepper here. We have the paprika, one tablespoon of paprika. One to two tablespoons if you like. And then we have one teaspoon of cumin. To so that, what you're going to do is just stir it nicely like that and it's probably it will just actually under 10 minutes this one is cooked already our filling okay just like so ah the smell is so nice i hope that you are here <laughs> but actually you can do this straight away tomorrow if you are going to the shop if you are if you don't have complete ingredients go to the shop and then just buy this uh, ingredients okay and going to just lower it down a little bit okay I don't want it too watery okay so uh, if the moisture is already out I'm going to uh, stop this or turn it off already okay so we have the guacamole homemade we're going to make that very easy salsa here okay so with the salsa just going to have another bowl. Okay. With the salsa, it's very easy. Everyone can do this. Just chop uh, two or uh, three chopped tomatoes. And to this, we're going to add the finely um, chopped... What's this? <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Thank you, Anat. And also some garlic. It's just a uh, no, uh, very nice uh, contrast of the flavor. And then pinch of salt and pepper. And of course, our cilantro or coriander. That's it. Our salsa is done. And for this salsa, it's very common in the Philippines. We also, we always cook this with our, uh, we always uh, use this as a side dish for our fried fish or anything fried, okay? So we have this beautiful salsa already. Easy, right? Okay, next one, I'm just, while we are just uh, cooking this for a few seconds or minutes, I'm just going to, uh, Shred our. I will. I'm just going to shred our. Okay, I'm just going to shred our garnish, which is our. What's this? <laughs> this is uh, gem lettuce, right? Oh no, no. This is just the lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Okay, so I'm going to use code number four to this, like that. Code number four. So if you have salad master that you are not using, please take them out and use it every single day or every time that you need to use. And it will be a very nice help. Okay, so 
very easy. So we have that. And then if you're making coleslaw with the green, proper green cabbage, that is uh, cone number four that you're going to use as well. Right, so the next one, I think we're almost finished. See, I told you it's very quick. We're just going to gather everything, okay? So I'm just going to remove this salad master machine. Like, uh, like what I said to you, if you want to have salad master machine in your kitchen, let me know because you can earn this by family and friends. If you are not here in the UK, just message me as well, and then we can refer you to the nearest dealer to your place, all right? So let us remove some and then give space here. And let me clean up a bit. Okay, so that, because this is now the setting time, okay? Okay, please help us uh, by uh, liking our page for SI Health and also by subscribing in our YouTube channel for SI Health as well. And then with that, we can, by doing that, we can help other people to know more about um, the healthier way of cooking, okay, through 4SI Healthy Home Cooking. Okay, this one is nearly done. The filling is nearly done already. Okay. Lovely. Mmm, that's done. It's less than 10 minutes, the filling. Okay, I would like to turn it off now. Okay, with 11 inch griddle, we, I can now uh, reheat the, uh, our tacos. And if you want to know how to make your own tortilla wrap, um, I, we will post in our YouTube channel how to make this tortilla wrap, okay, in a separate video. Um, this one is so easy. Okay, very, very easy. It's just four or five ingredients already only, and then you can use the um, tortilla pre presser, and then it's ready to go, okay? So with the tortilla, you just need to your 11 inch, and then uh, just um, reheat it. Instead of using um, microwave, you can use your salad master, okay? And uh, with our tortilla, Okay, you can buy this in the shop, okay, or you can make your own one as well. Okay, so just uh, reheat there, and then the rest, I, re I already reheated them a while ago. Okay, just very quick actually, few seconds, and then they'll be okay, nice and toasted. Okay, so let's, we're going to uh, set up now. Okay, are you liking it so far? Are you liking it so far? Yes, Deborah, you need it, yeah? Don't worry, we will uh, message you for this. Hi, Richard. Delicious, we in Texas eat this, very healthy. Oh, you know, huh? You know, Richard, very healthy. That's very good. Okay, so let us um, gather everything now. So because we have the guacamole, the homemade guacamole, we have the homemade salsa, we have the filling here, we have the tacos and tortilla. Like again, um, if you want to know the, uh, how to make your own tortilla, we will um, post in our YouTube channel, Forest Eye Health, how to make this tortilla. Okay, so just like that. Right. So I have my garnishing here and some more cilantro here. Okay, so let us do first the, the, the tacos. Okay, so what we're going to do is just put some of our, at the bottom, of our uh, lettuce at the bottom. It's up to you, there's no right and wrong. Which one first, okay? And then, the, what I would like actually first is the guacamole, and then I can put some more at the top. Okay, so just like so. Uh, it's very nice, okay? And then our filling there. Okay, you can, the good thing here is um, for a family, you can put all together in your table, and then each one, just, just to 
to get or to give some more fun, and then everyone just can uh, can make their own, isn't it? So it's very nice meal. Okay. So and then I'm going to put some more guacamole on top. Okay. This is optional uh, to put some uh, jalapeno. Okay. Uh, for those who loves chili food, you can put some jalapeno. But for my sons, my younger eldest son, no. <laughs> and then some jalapeno here. So we have one. Okay, just like so. We will do more. Okay, and then, like what I said to you, you can play. Okay, uh, or you, there's no... Uh, there's no rule which one first. This is just what I would like to have our tacos. So we have the first is we have our um, lettuce, and then we have the guacamole, and then we have the filling, the fish filling here. Okay, and then we have the salsa on top, and a little bit more of guacamole, just like so. Oops, and then some cilantro on top, and the jalapeno as well. Let's do two that has no jalapeno. So I have the lettuce, the guacamole, the homemade one. So like what I said, if you have tortilla chips, this is a very nice one, okay? And then the filling. Okay, I can see that you will in, your family enjoy this. Definitely, they will enjoy this. Uh, just put everything on the center of the table, and then um, some more guacamole. Center of the table, and then let everyone make their own. And it's nice and fun, and so that at least you have some very nice conversation. So no. Um, Jalapeno there. One more for the tacos. Oh, I can use this. One more for the tacos. So we have our co lettuce there. Our guacamole, homemade guacamole. And then you can, if you don't like the feeling, just the guacamole, it's up to you. It's very, very flexible. Okay? So, oh, very quick. And then some of our salsa. Oops, and then some more of our guacamole on the side just for presentation as well. And cilantro, because this is cilantro dish. Okay, and then let's just put on the side like so. Okay, so we have the tacos here, and then we will do the tortilla itself. Okay, now I just learned that for the tacos, there are two kinds. It's either the... It's either the, um, what you call that? It's either the soft one or the, this is the soft one and this is the hard one for the tacos. So you have the option, if whatever you like. So uh, lettuce, we have the, the no, here, the guacamole, and then the filling. Now with the filling, if there's any, if there's any leftover, actually, you can use that, um, you can serve that with rice. So it's really very, very flexible, just like so. And then our cilantro on the top, like so. And then you can put some jalapeno, and then we will do another one. There you go. Okay, we will uh, do that as well. And then so some lettuce, some jalapeno, the filling. Ah, look at this beautiful dish. Oh, I did not take picture. Hmm. <laughs> I, anyway, I can know online. Look at that. And then some of our cilantro and jalapeno. And then put on the side. You can also uh, prepare this if you have party, yeah? And then that side. And then one more of our tortilla wrap. Just the last one who are in here. 
Oh yes, at Angelita, we will. Uh, I will send you straight away the recipe. Okay. Um, yes, at the floor, we will send you the recipe straight away. Debra, yes, we can email you or straight away to this uh, thing. Hi, Rafa. Shout out to you, Rafa. Thank you for watching. Who else are here? Okay, let me just finish the last one. We have here our uh, lettuce. Then we have our guacamole. Okay, just like so. Our filling. Okay. And then our salsa. our salsa and then our cilantro or coriander okay if you want to put some under there there you go this is the tacos with a soft tortilla wrap easy isn't it so look at this yeah I will look at this I'm going to take a picture it's just so nice Look at that. Let's take a picture. Smile. There you go. Ah, ah, this is just natural beauty and very delicious. There you go. Smile. <laughs> okay, let me let me taste one. Tasting test. This is the best part. The tasting test. Okay, so lettuce. Okay, and then some guacamole. This is my testing one. And then some filling. Okay, and some uh, salsa and cilantro. I don't want the uh, jalapeno. So this is my by uh, testing, okay? Now, like what I said to you. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay there. So like what I said to you, weekdays, we are live in Facebook and in YouTube. But on weekend, like this Saturday, we're going to be always, always weekend, we're going to uh, do Zoom because there's more dishes, more, more fun and more tips in salad in cooking in Salad Master. Uh, on Saturday, the good news is our recipe or dish for uh, Saturday is also a very, very nice dish, very delicious and healthy. It's a biniguan or dinuguan. If you are trying to avoid meat, Okay, uh, especially we know what we are using in Dinuguan, isn't it? But to this, we're going to make it in a, uh, as in vegan Dinuguan. So no, uh, no blood or whatever, no meat or anything. It's just pure vegan Dinuguan. And you must watch it. I believe that you will love to uh, put that recipe in your daily dishes. It's just so easy, actually. And it's very delicious. Same flavor as in Dinuguan. So it's just like vegan. And the other recipe on Saturday is, uh, what you call that? Uh, it's cauliflower stew. It's very healthy as well, but it's delicious. So what we're trying to do is uh, to cook delicious, healthy meal without compromising the flavor. So that's why I said it's, uh, it's, um, it's delicious. So it's mukbang time or, or tasting time. <laughs> And you will see oh, it's just very, very nice. Okay. So please, please, if you haven't registered yet, please register for our Eventbrite or Zoom class, for a Healthy Kung Kung class on Saturday. And if you want some gifts of Salad Master, like for example, kitchen tool set, we have five quarts wok, we have the food processor, we also have black of knives, we have the electric kettle. Okay, so electric kettle here. If you want those hosting gifts, please message me or private message me because you can earn them by just referring us to your family and friends. And then if you know anyone who's looking for part-time or full-time job, let me know as well by PM because we're, we would like to welcome you to virtual world. So many people are, are um, in, or have more income by doing the virtual presentation. We are now in the digital world, isn't it? 
So it will be nice if uh, you will be with us. Okay, 2021 is going to be amazing, more than 2020. We believe that in every difficulty, there's opportunity, right? So let me taste this food. Mm. Mm. It's just very fresh. Mm. The texture, crunchy, chewy. Mm, not too salty, this is good. And the fish, you can taste the flavor, it's just fresh fish, very, very, very good. Okay, so with that, thank you so much for being with us, for her, uh, having you this afternoon. And you can still do a watch party with this, actually, so that those people who haven't uh, watched this, they can watch this later, okay? So I hope you will register for Saturday Binuguan or Vegan Binuguan and um, cal um, what is that? Cal cauliflower stew on Saturday. See you and thank you so much for watching 4SI Healthy Home Cookie Class. Just say hello and bye-bye because after this, when I get home, I'm going to answer every one of you. Okay, when I get home. Okay, bye-bye now. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a very, very prosperous new year, 2001. Bye-bye. God bless you.